have this if we needed it later. Uh, you guys are welcome to reach out to me at any time throughout the year. Uh, this will also be the last slide of the presentation as well. So uh, if you have any questions, if someone that's important to you that helps you make these decisions has questions that you can't answer, you can email me. We can set up a one-on-one -on -one time, whatever works for you. Quick agenda, we're gonna talk about the benefits, open enrollments, dates, uh, but the real the real big change this year is how we're gonna be enrolling. Uh, it'll be through an online enrollment portal, uh, which I think you guys will dig. So uh, we'll talk about that. So uh, you guys got the open enrollment invitations the other day. I saw some of you have logged in and started poking around, thank you. Uh, we're asking that everybody have this all done by Wednesday, the 20th. Um, if that is something that is, is a hard date for you to make for because of some extenuating circumstances, refer back to my contact information and I'd love to work with you directly to help you um, figure that out. Most of you I'd imagine will just keep your plans how they were. Um, so, but this is your time to enroll or disenroll or waive benefits or add somebody or move from one plan to the next. Any changes that you make will go into effect on February 1st. So anything you have now will stay through the end of the month. Uh, and then after this open enrollment period, you have to wait. You have to wait until next year uh, to make any changes. The exception, of course, is if you have a qualifying event of some kind. You have a baby. You get married. Uh, you know, if you're on your spouse's plan and they lose their 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 job, you that you can come back on your plan. So that's called a qualifying event. Uh, medical plans available. We have a whole bunch of medical plans available. We got PPOs, we got HMOs, we got Kaiser plans. Uh, so all of you are in one of these plans. Uh, we'll talk about them in a second. This is a quick plug for the smartphone apps of each one of these insurance companies. Um, this is the single best thing you can do to uh, make your benefits experience better is to download the smartphone app. The biggest questions we get all the time are, how do I find a doctor? What does my plan cover? How do I challenge a claim? Um, where's my, I need an ID card. All of these things are in your pocket on your phone all the time. So including things like how to find the nearest urgent care rather than an emergency room. Uh, so lots of really good things that can help your experience out. So uh, please do it and it's of course free. Um, oh, where'd our medical go? Um, We'll get into medical in a second. So dental, we have our, we have our dental plan with Guardian. Uh, we have the one PPO plan. A couple things I want to point out uh, are the, the Alliance Network and the Preferred Network. So this is a PPO plan, but it's a PPO dental plan with an exclusive, with, a, with another third network. So there's generally PPO plans. You have in-network dentists and out-of-network dentists. But with this plan, there's two levels of in-network. The alliance level is going to cost you less. The benefits are better. So if you see in tier one for basic care, uh, preventative care is 100% coverage with both tiers. Basic care is 100% covered with the alliance network versus 80% with the tier two network. And by the way, this 80% and 50% coverage, that is very standard good coverage in, in dental. But when you get into this alliance tier, you have... 100% uh, coverage for basic and 60% coverage for major. So things like um, endodontics, a root canal, stuff like that is paid at uh, higher levels with the Alliance Network. So it saves you money. I'll show you in the enrollment system that I put a link to a document that explains how to find, because the question of course is, okay, great. How do I find one of those people? You know, So there's a, there's a, a document in the, in the enrollment portal that I'm gonna highlight for you. We'll talk about it. Uh, there's an annual maximum of $1,500. So PPO plans give you great freedoms of who you can choose, but they all have annual maximums. So what an annual maximum means is once you get to this number, then you have, uh, they don't pay anymore and you have to pay everything else. So keep this in mind as we get to the end of the year, because at the end of the year, if you haven't used your plan, uh, you uh, you you want to use it before the end of the year because your 1500 starts over on January 1st. So you don't want to, you can't roll that benefit over generally. However, this plan does have a level of a rollover. You see it at the bottom here, uh, and, and many of you have rollover funds. So um, I can get that information to Katrina and, and you guys can figure out which one of you has more than just your annual maximum of 1500. 
Here we get into some more of the, the details. So basic care, where I like to look at these plans, I look at basic care, how they cover root canals, uh, periodontal surgery, and you see that this plan treats all that as basic care, which covers it at really, at really high levels. Um, some PPO dental plans put root canals and perio surgery down here in major care and make you pay more. So when I see them up in the basic care uh, line, uh, I, it's, a good, it's, a, it's a sign of a good plan. Down here, you're getting into the actual crowns and some of the more major, major surgical uh, issues, implants, bridges, those kind of things are covered at this level. How do you find a dentist? Guardiananytime.com. Like this, this link is going to be in the enrollment portal, so you don't need to memorize it here. But um, this is where this is where you would go. They've got a helpline that is always available. And this document here we're looking at is in the enrollment portal, so uh, you have access to this to download it later if you'd like. So we've got some additional benefits. Uh, Alpenrock pays for twenty-five thousand dollars in life insurance, as well as uh, the short-term disability benefit, uh, whereas you guys have an opportunity to add long-term disability, uh, which would pay you past a certain period of time, so extended for years rather than just for several months. And then there's the flexible spending account, which you can put as much as $2,750 in. Uh, a, rem a reminder, this is money that goes in pre-tax that you can use for medical expenses. This helps you save money on medical expenses by using pre-tax money. For those of you who have regular expenses, a regular prescription drug, regular MRI that you need to get, you know you're gonna have knee surgery, you're gonna have a baby, whatever it may be, using the flex spending account is, is really great because you can take dollars you would have spent after tax and make them pre-tax. The drawback with flexible spending accounts, of course, is it's a use it or lose it deal. So if you put a thousand in there, and you don't use it all, that money uh, is lost to the, to the program. For those of you with dependents in, in, in uh, professional care situations, you can put another 5,000 on top of that into, into the dependent care. So that, is, that could be as much as $7,750 between those two, if you need it. How long do we have um, to, to use our flexible spending? How long do you have to use it? Yeah, um, for for last year. Katrina, like to, to to submit for it. I'm trying to remember. We just had this conversation. Um, I don't have it in front of I me. Tried to stump you. I think. Okay. You, well, if someone could tell me at some point. Yeah, I think you've got you've got 30 days or 60 days to submit claims that were incurred at the end of the plan year. And so, two things. Number one. Um, Katrina, when did the FSA plan year end? Is it a, is it on the same two one to one thirty one? Yeah, okay. yeah, it ends this month. So if you have to okay. use it cool. by the end of the month, then I think we did a grace. So yeah. it's not it's not yearly. It's on the schedule that our insurance is. Okay, correct. So I still have some time. That's all I needed. Thank yes. you. But the dental care and the other the maximums are calendar dental and oh, okay. medical with dental and medical deductibles and out-of-pocket maximums and all that always with all plans starts over on january 1. with medical you start over meaning oh shucks if you met your deductible now you're back to zero but with dental it's it's a good thing because now you've got a refresh of your 1500 dollars benefits so if we spend if we go to the doctor in january does that count towards our deductible for the year? No. Then. So it's all with yeah. calendar year. So with medical, so, forget forget two one. You know, is our effective okay. date. It's always okay. January one to December thirty one. Okay. So any expenses you've had thus far in the last thirteen days is twenty twenty one deductibles, out of pocket maximums, and all that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Long-term disability. So there's this is in the this is your your cost. This is a is something that you can get based on salary, um, and and it's something that if you are wish to apply for, we need to see we need to work with Katrina directly because the way that this this cost structure is laid out, it doesn't fit into the online enrollment portal program. I'm sorry, I tried it every single way, but it just wouldn't display correctly. So um, if you're interested in LTD. 
uh, please uh, see Katrina. And Katrina and I will work together to, so that she knows what you need when you do that. So these are your basic costs. It's, it's age banded, you know, across the top here. And then there's the, the amount that you're eligible for. Note that you have to have a minimum salary. If you were making 60 grand, you can't request 7,500. Uh, so just keep in mind those numbers. And, and these are your monthly costs that would come out. All right, so we're going to get into the ease enrollment portal. Um, this is this is going to be the way that we uh, enroll. Uh, this will be a way you can reference back to your benefits, download any of these documents that you see in the enrollment process. Let's say in the middle of the year you want to understand, you have questions about FSA or you want to understand this dental rollover thing, whatever it is, or how to find Alliance versus the other network. You can come back to this this portal every day of the year. OK, uh, we'll use it this at this time to enroll. Um, but you all you all should have got this email. This is the email that you would have gotten. It welcomes you to ease. Um, did anybody not get an email specific to this? I don't remember. OK. OK, so if anybody if anybody doesn't remember seeing this, I'll send another one out uh, right when we hang up for this call. I'll send another one of these out. Um, and go ahead and look in your junk folder. A lot of times this coming through that enrollment portal, uh, our email spam folders pick it up. So check check junk, check spam. Um, but this is the email you're looking for. Um, once you get this, you're gonna hit sign up. You'll be taken to the actual website to enter a password. You'll agree to service and terms. You're gonna click through. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna walk through this real quick on my other screen um, with you guys. Let's see, let me pull it up. So here's the email that you would have that you would have received. You've been added, blah, 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 blah. Log in. So once you get that's an administrator personal. So once you guys get in there, you're gonna see this 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 screen right here. Super easy. You're gonna go up here, you're gonna press start. This gives you an idea of what to expect. Start, overview, continue. It's going to ask you all this information here. Lots of asterisks. Keep that in mind. At the very bottom here, there's it asks you the question about long-term disability. We looked at it a little bit uh, on that last page, but if you are interested in more information, this is this is the box you check yes or no, and this will let us know uh, to reach out to you. Uh, and give you the information you need. So this is this will just be a yes or no question here at the bottom. Uh, once you get done with that, continue. If you have any dependents, I recommend that you enter them into here. Entering them into this section does not enroll them in benefits. Rather, it gives you the opportunity to toggle between what the cost would be to enroll the dependent or not. So important that you enter them into here. Medicare, no, you can just continue right through. Now you're getting into your benefits. The number one thing we see people kind of trip up on is you need to, this is not pre-selected at, at all. So you need to either select enroll or decline here. That's how you get things started. So I'm gonna enroll for both me and my daughter. I said that I was married, but I didn't enter her into this thing. So why am I waiving my spouse group plan? Now, if I have the information, you put the information in. If you don't, you can just do one of these numbers here. It just wants information. Here's all our plans. If I as I select the plan, you see the numbers change instantly over here on the right. As I disenroll my dependent, the numbers change instantly. It's going to want to know why. You can compare the plans together side by side by doing that. You can actually export it to Excel and, and, and put it in your own format if you want to do that. Delete some of the columns and just compare the couple that you want to see. Uh, each one of these plans is going to have a benefit summary attached to it. So this is going to be kind of a plain English, easy way to kind of see the benefits laid out. How does it cover some of the things that might be important to you? Uh, and then there's a summary of benefits and coverages. Now, this is a required document. This is the document Obamacare requires your employer to give to you regarding the plan that you want. So 
whichever plan you choose, you're going to have to open this summary of benefits and coverage. Now, it looks like this. It's kind of giving you that same information that was in the benefit summary, but in a little bit different format. You can download that. You can do whatever you want with that. Um, down here, you'll see if you choose this HMO plan, what will happen at the bottom is you'll be asked to provide a primary care person. Now, if you're already enrolled in this plan and you're just saying, hey, same, same, you can write same and same right here. Just write same and same. And then that will tell us that there's no change to that. Okay. If you're enrolling for the first time and you don't know who you want to choose, you can just hit this auto assign button, which will allow for the insurance company to choose a primary care provider nearby your home. Uh, you can change this at any time. If you needed some help on finding that provider, that link, this link right here will take you to, right to the HealthNet site where you can, you can search by city, county, state. You can search by provider name and continue. If anybody's having any trouble finding a particular doctor, uh, you're welcome to reach out to me and I can kind of help you find this person through there if you're really kind of running into uh, some challenges. So, Wait, so that would be how you find if the provider is covered under that insurance? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay. yeah, exactly. So if I'm if I'm looking for a particular provider, then I would I would search that. I would get here and I could look, you know, by city, you know. And this is how I'm going to know if it's if if this person, if Smith. You know, so if it shows up, that means that they're covered under that exactly. insurance. Exactly. Now, okay. the key is the key is especially with these plans, you got to get the the correct network. So um, this is the Saluti Moss, so the HMO Saluti Moss, is the HMO network. Again, if you're on this plan and this is confusing or you can't remember which one I said, just let me know. You shoot me an email, give me a call. I'll, I'll help refresh you. Same thing with with our United Healthcare plans. This uses the Alliance Network, okay? Are any of you on the Alliance Network right now on the United Healthcare plan, do you know? Uh-oh, we don't remember. Um, okay, so the same, same kind of deal. This will take you right to the United Healthcare website. Find a doctor. It might be, but I never used it this year, so <laughs> I think I might have it. Good. A weird thing. I needed it. I just didn't have it. I just didn't have my primary care, so I just paid for it all. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Um, all right. So, United Healthcare Medical Directory, all United Healthcare plans. Now you got to get down to the bottom. Why they make it this hard, I don't know. But Signature Value is the name of the plan. I actually have this whole all these steps recorded. I think I might embed this into your into that part of the website. You can just and you go through here, Medical Directory California, just trying to get to where this is where you get to the word alliance. So you want to choose this alliance. They've got all these different names of plans. Alliance is, is how we search. Now once you're in here, now you are looking specifically in the correct network for doctors. So if Dr. Jones is in there, then you, you know, usually it would, if there was a Jones in there, then it would tell us, but um, that's where you uh, would know you're looking at the right place. All right, so we've, we've chosen our HMO medical plan. We go through same, same thing with dental. We're gonna choose to enroll or decline. Here's how we find a dental provider with Guardian. Right to that website there. PPO is what we will be searching. And then dental benefit summary is live here. So everything we were just looking at in the presentation is right here. Here's that phone number I pointed to right there. Here's that website to, to find a dentist, find a provider, manage your benefits. Again, you can, down, you can download it, print it, whatever you need to do there. Uh, now, the explanation for the Guardian Dental Maximum Benefit Rollover. Now, 
I have tried, my friends, like seven times to get this thing to save vertically, but it will not do it. I can't understand why. But <laughs> this is so if you'll indulge me and just rotate it one, you know, one revolution when you get there. I apologize, but uh, this is how the benefit works, and this is how you understand how you get more rollover benefit. The key is using your plan. So if you don't use your plan at all, you're not rewarded for that. So making sure they want to make sure you're getting your cleaning. So you get your two cleanings a year. And if that's all you need, you're going to roll over big bucks. And, you know, every few years you have some work you need done. And now you've got $2,000 in maximum, $2,200 in maximum. So this is how that would work there. Um, Alliance versus preferred. So again, it, it's coming in sideways on me caddy wampus um but this is this is a this is a little bit of information on understanding how to find alliance versus um versus the preferred network so you can click through all of that i'm going to select it for both me and my daughter okay great we're moving on short-term disability is going to show you amount based on your compensation there's nothing to select it's pre-selected for you because it's something that's paid for if you want a summary of the benefits, you got it here. Again, this is all downloadable. You can save it. You can do whatever you want to do. You can come back to this all year long and look at it. Continue. We're always going to keep continuing through. We see on the right side our, 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 our monthly costs are tallying up. Here's our life that's paid for by the company. Again, another link to a document that you can that can teach you more about what this benefit is. And then here's FSA. You can you can elect to enroll. Um, we'll just give it a thousand dollars. Oh, whoa, that was weird. Um, if we're already enrolled in that, do we still just select it and put in the new amount or the amount yeah, that we want? You are you are making a new election. You have you have the freedom to add to it, take from it, whatever it is. So this is you're enrolling in this just like. Uh, you would otherwise. I want a thousand dollars in the FSA, um, FSA FAQ. So this will take you to a site that's got a lot of good information on FSAs. If you're not fully aware of what it is, or if you have questions on what some of the the terms mean, really nice uh, place for information there. Uh, if you want to know what items are eligible with an FSA, it's right at your fingertips here, here, here. Go. Uh, so this will give you a complete list. I mean, this is a really cool site with a lot of really good information. So for those of you trying to spend the last few bucks, this will give you an idea of, okay, what, what are things that I might not have thought of that I need or use that I can go buy that would be, that would be part of, um, part of a, a qualified medical expense per the FSA rules. So all those, all those links, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them because you can spend as much time as you want while you're in here. So now you see that that is how much I'm contributing. FSA dependent care, again, you can elect up to 5,000. Here's some information. Again, another link to a good site that talks about the dependent care. I'm going to elect to not enroll in that. Now we get into beneficiaries. So the dependent, this is where it's, again, it's important to have your dependents listed in there, even if you do not wish to enroll them, uh, because now they're into the beneficiary page. You can, of course, add them here as well. I'll just give my daughter all of it. Um, if there is many people, it just has to add up to 100%, so you can divide it up however you want. Continue, gives you a summary of what you've decided on and what you're gonna do. You can print this summary here. Print it, save it, whatever you want to do. This is where I want you guys to look at it and go, yes, I do want the HealthNet Platinum Plan. Yes, I want to enroll my child also in dental. Oh, whoops, I don't want to enroll my child in dental. You go back to benefits here and disenroll. So this is just another check to look at it. Once you feel good about it, you continue. So I didn't open up my summary of benefits and coverages with that health net plan. Remember, I opened it up with the previous, the Blue Cross plan, but not this one. So I just click here. It opens it right up. Boom, I'm back. I've done everything I need to do. Of course, you will review every word of that, of course, I'm sure. But uh, you can do it that quickly. You'll sign forms. This is a lot like if you've done DocuSign. 
except there's two signatures here. You're going to type a signature. You're going to sign with your mouth. Looks like you sign with your feet, but it's okay. Next, next. And then now it just follows you all the way through the whole process, all the different applications that we have, and it signs everywhere it needs to sign. Now, once you're done with that, you hit finish signing. If you wish to see the application as it's been filled in, you can do this. It's just, this is just showing you exactly how the application has been mapped based on the selections that you've made. Um, again, you can print, you can save that, you can do whatever you want to do with that. Finish signing. You can tell us what you thought about it, or if you just want to be all done, just hit this finish button. And once you get that finish button, you'll be thrown back to the dashboard here and you'll be able to, this is what you will see throughout the year. You won't have this start enrollment, manage enrollment button once open enrollment's done, but when you come back, you will have this. So if you are use, gonna use your dental plan for the first time in the year and it's like April and you forgot everything we talked about, you just come here and you've got all this stuff right at your fingertips. Okay? So that is, I'll get back to the PowerPoint. Um, but that is the basically the end of the presentation. So this is a bunch of screenshots on what we did. The last thing I'll say is you'll get an email back to that same email address saying, thank you, you've been you've submitted your enrollment. So right now in my email inbox, I've got this this letter or this email that says that you've completed your enrollment. That's how you know you're all done. So um, what now is uh, we log back in or log in for the first time to the ease portal. I'll send out another email right now, the same one you got a couple days ago. So it's at the top of your inbox. If you guys don't have it within five minutes of this call being over, then there's an issue. Maybe the email address is input incorrectly. So if you don't have it within five minutes of the conclusion of this call, then um, reach out to myself or to Katrina and uh, we'll figure out what the issue is and get you the uh, the enrollment information. Uh, as a reminder, we're trying to get this all done by Wednesday, January 20th. If any of you have a lot to think about or talk about, again, I am um, here for you. My information is is right here. Um, I'll leave this, this slide up and I'll take anybody's questions.